So you guys really liked our previous video in which we broke down the Genshin Impact animations to see if they were realistic and could be done in real life or not. So I've teamed up with my older brother Mike once again to bring you even more Genshin Impact moves done in real life. But before we get into it, I want to quickly thank today's sponsor, Tears of Themis. Made by MiHoYo, the same developers that have brought us Genshin and Honkai Impact, Tears of Themis combines interactive detective gameplay with immersive romantic experiences. Half of the game revolves around you being an attorney, so you collect evidence by talking with various NPCs and inspecting 3D crime scenes. The other main form of gameplay is of course the four dashing young men that you will meet along your journey, whom you can interact with in a variety of ways. By the time you are watching this video, a brand new event will have just recently launched named A Love Poem to Scatty. Within Scatty Island, there is a lot of brand new exclusive content to enjoy. You can walk around an abandoned mansion to find clues, collect gems to open up a strange door, do jobs for residents to get key items, and explore different spots to see random events while collecting travel notes. And most importantly, there are lots of new things you will want to collect like invitations, new furniture, and of course, new cards. Just look at those amazing animated illustrations. If you're interested, you can check out the game with the link in the description and follow the game's official social media accounts for more updates. Thank you again to Tears of Themis for supporting the channel. So right away, you'll notice that we did things a little bit differently from last time. Instead of filming outside, we decided to film inside in a gymnastics gym, the main benefit of which was the spring padded flooring. So what exactly is a spring padded flooring and what does it do for you when you trick? Yeah, so a spring floor is mainly built out of these metal springs, which are about this big or so. And then we have wood on top of that to keep a super flat layer. And then on top of that is carpet or some type of foam. And the main benefit of that, not only does it give you a little bit more bounce and more air time in your flips, but it also absorbs a lot of the impact. So when we're doing more dangerous flips, it's a lot safer. So the first one that we did was actually from our previous video, which is Eula, and her entire normal attack string combo is very realistic except for a, a few minor parts, which you will soon see. All right, so this one came out really well. Uh, Mike, why don't you break down each move in the sequence and kind of just walk us through what you were doing. Yeah, so the first couple moves are just general sword slashes. Um, the one thing that I, we kind of noticed when we were filming this is that there's a cut in between the first move and the second move. You know, in real life you can't really make that jump. So we just decided to add a quick cut in the actual uh, film so that we could reflect that kind of position. So the next move in that kind of combo was one that we actually talked about in the last episode, which mm -hmm. was the aerial semi. So an aerial is a cartwheel without any hands. And when you land in semi, that means that you turn a little bit extra, landing with your foot facing forward. Mm -hmm. So you'll see when she does it, she does it extremely gracefully. She kind of lays out her body, keeps it super elongated, and like kind of looks at the ground the whole time. That's really difficult, uh, but I tried to do my best in recreating that. I kind of do it, kind of don't. Yeah, well, in the game, she's uh, a dancer, so that's kind of reflected in her graceful movements. Oh, so it's kind of cool that, that uh, yeah, you picked up on that without even knowing that. So props to you, Genshin Animation team. This time we were filming, we also brought a few props with us, which you will soon see uh, later in this video. But for this, we decided not to go with the wooden sword that you brought because it added a few extra layers of difficulty when recreating it, right? So how did holding the weapon actually interfere with you doing the trick? Yeah, so definitely trying to make it more graceful is a lot harder when holding something because it throws my center of balance, my weight off, and also trying to multitask doing a sword slash at the same time as doing the trick makes things a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. So after the next kind of normal sword slash, she does something which I was really excited to see done in Genshin Impact, and that's a B-twist, also known as a butterfly twist. And that's basically doing a butterfly kick, which you'll see later in the video in a different animation, but adding a full 360 on top of that. Dame, 
So next one up is Xingqiu and this one was heavily requested by a lot of people in the comments of the last video. I think mostly because it looks like it's pretty impossible. And it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this trick is actually one that took me a little while to kind of understand. Um, particularly because it's never been done in tricking before. It's, so that's really cool. So I did something that's very similar to it, but not exactly. To break down this trick in its most basic sense, it is kind of like a front flip off of one foot, but with also a twist involved in it, but also laid out and <laughs> also looking at the target at the same time. While also doing not one, but two sword swings. So what I did was a B twist where I laid out in the same position that he does, but of course he's not doing a B twist, he does more of a front flip. Next up we have Diona, who has a very cat-like uh, reflex to her moves, and what she does in her elemental skill is shoot off some arrows while doing a backflip, which you recreated pretty faithfully bar from the speed up from the editing. Yeah, a backflip is a pretty basic move in tricking, so this was relatively easy to recreate. Next we have Toma's elemental skill, which uh, you also saw in the previous video, but this time we wanted to see if you could do it. This time we brought a pole arm or a similar bow staff with us to use as a prop, but using that didn't really translate that well to real life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not only was the bow that we had a little bit lighter, so it was hard to kind of put my weight onto, but I think personally that would have made the trick a lot harder to accomplish. So you'll see in this one, it's very similar to Eula's aerial semi. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost the same exact move, but you'll see that when he uses the pole arm with it, he's able to get a lot more height, which is why it looks a little bit different. Next character is Bennett, a character that is known for having extremely bad luck in the game. And when you hold down his elemental skill, he does this. <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, you want me to <laughs> fall? I just kind of threw it in there as a joke, but uh, little did I know that you would recreate it that well. Yeah, so I thought we recreated this pretty well, aside from the one thing that we didn't even realize until after we filmed it, was that my arms are up like I'm falling out of the air <laughs> uh, but in the video he keeps his arms down but I kept the arms up because it's easier to land that way uh, it's easier to land safer and allow me to flip over like how he does in the video yeah well also when I first got the clip I thought that he just landed straight up on his neck and thought that would be a little bit dangerous for you to do but uh... probably would be without <laughs> yeah. that especially without that crash mat yeah yeah The next character is Yunjin, who just recently got announced, and that's why the clip that we have of her as a reference is taken from a gameplay trailer and not just gameplay, which would be a much better angle to view it from. So I mentioned earlier about the butterfly kick, which is the base kind of trick for the butterfly twist. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what she does in this uh, attack animation. So using the pole arm, she kind of slices and does a butterfly kick at the same time. So the butterfly kick is definitely one of the more basic tricks in tricking. It's one of the first tricks that I always teach when I'm teaching a new student. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a relatively easy trick that anybody can do really. So when I heard that, I thought that I would be able to do it myself for this clip instead of you. Uh, but then when I actually tried it, it didn't look nearly as good, so. Cleanse the land. <sighs> so for context, this is from Zhang Li's character trailer in which they do a lot of camera work, they do a lot of visual effects to try and make the characters seem as cool as possible since of course they're trying to sell them. So I thought I'd just throw it in there, kind of see what would happen with it, and somehow we ended up getting this masterpiece. But we couldn't have just done this by ourselves, we had the help of Mike's friend Brandon, who is a photographer, and he tried to recreate the camera angles as best as he could, despite how crazy they ended up being. I thought we did a pretty good job. <laughs> I think it came out way better than I ever expected it. <laughs> so the very first shot is all in one take, it's 
relatively simple but it still took a lot of planning from the three of us to get down of course the part that we weren't quite sure how it would turn out was the pole arms kind of going into the ground which is Zhongli's charge attack so when we recreated it, I kind of just held it up and stabbed it into the ground multiple times. It looks really janky, but also <laughs> it's the best we could have gotten. So yeah. So we have the kick and then the pull arm flying up, spinning around in the sky with a little light in the background. So when I initially broke down the clip, I didn't even notice that when he pulls the pull arm back, it's just floating there. Like he's not even holding it. He, he yeah. didn't throw it up either. He's it's just floating there. So what we did is I literally stood behind you holding it. <laughs> you <laughs> you can, gotta see it. You can see my arm behind you, but also the first time you probably might not even notice it, but also you might not be able to even tell that that's the effect we were going for. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that entire character trailer sequence turned out way better than I had ever imagined it would. So I'm thinking that if we ever do a part three to the series, we're gonna try to lean more into that. So if you have any sequences from character trailers or maybe in-game cutscenes that you wanna see recreated, uh, make sure you comment them down below. But I think all the stuff that we ended up recreating turned out really well, I'm really happy with it. And that is in part thanks to the gym that we filmed at where we had basically no interruptions, a lot of open space, and also a few things that we used as props and such. Thank you once again for helping me out with another great video. And remember, if you want to see more, please support this video and our previous ones. And who knows, maybe the next video will come a lot sooner. If you want to see more of Mike's own stuff, you can follow him on his Instagrams, which will be on screen right now. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. I can, I can, I guess I can explain what she does. He? She? <laughs> it's, it's a boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Remember to subscribe, you, you know, like, support. comment, and subscribe. No, I, Hit that I don't, notification <laughs> bell. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say anything, so. <laughs>